Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is auto collimator. So, let us see the construction and working of the same. So, let us first see the construction or the diagram of auto collimator, how it looks. So, this is micrometer and this is the eyepiece and here it is kept on the surface and adjusted with the help of level screw. This is the electric supply and this is the lighting unit and this is collimating lens. This is a simplified version of a co auto collimator. So now let us see how it looks from within and how it works. So if there is a light for example, okay, this is a light source and here you will have a filter. Okay, I am drawing the same how it looks from within. So this is filter and then you have graticule, this is filter, this is a lamp or the light source, this is graticule which splits the light which comes from here and here you will have optical square. We will see what is the purpose of this optical square. So this is optical square. So the beam of light gets split and comes to this optical square because of this optical square the beam of light the direction is changed so now the direction change by 90 degrees okay and it goes to the collimating lens which is shown over here so with this then it goes to the reflector or the job which is kept over here okay so it comes from the source of light then because of the optical square it changes the direction by 90 degrees and this is the reflector or the job so this is the position of a reflector if it is perpendicular okay to the optical axis okay if it is perpendicular to the optical axis then the ray meet at the point O okay if Okay. The reflector is tilted. If the reflector is tilted by an angle, for example, there is a tilt. So now here this is position 2 or the reflector where the reflector is tilted by an angle theta. Okay. So then instead of meeting at O, it will meet at some other point because while going back, okay, this is optical, this is collimating lens. So basically, the light will go in different path, okay and it will meet at some other point not at O okay so this is O dash so basically there will be difference between the original point of meeting of the light when the reflector is perpendicular to the optical axis 
and if the reflector is tilted by angle theta then instead of O it will meet at O dash so there will be okay a distance between O and O dash so you can find X formula is X is equal to 2 F theta okay and the distance from here to the collimating lens is the focal distance or F and theta is the angle with which the reflector is tilted so we can find X or so the formula is X is equal to 2 F theta where X is the distance between O and O dash F is the focal distance and theta is the angle of tilt so this is how is the working or it looks from inside the auto collimator so this is how the auto collimator construction and working please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching